the solar system. Have you seen the stars twinkle at night? Do you know why that happens? The stars seem to twinkle when we see them from the Earth's surface because we are viewing them through thick layers of moving air in the Earth's atmosphere. Stars emit their own light and appear as tiny dots in the sky. Their light travels through many layers of the Earth's atmosphere where it gets bent many times and in random directions. The stars together make the sky look beautiful. They also form various shapes and patterns in the sky. These patterns of stars are called constellations. They are often named after mythological figures or the shapes they form. Have you heard of the Saptarishi Mandal? It is a group of seven stars which represent the seven great rishis praised in the Vedas. Do you know that your zodiac sign also denotes a constellation? And what about the sun? What is it? Is it also a star? What about our very own Earth? The sun is a star. It is a hot ball of glowing gases. It lies at the center of the solar system. The Earth, on the other hand, is not a star. It is a planet. Planets are spherical celestial bodies that revolve around the sun. They have no heat or light of their own, but reflect the light of the sun. Around the sun revolve eight planets which together form the solar system. Let's see what these planets are like. The first planet in the solar system is Mercury. It is the smallest planet. Mercury has no water on it, neither does it have an atmosphere around it. That is why, in spite of being closest to the sun, it is not the hottest planet. Can you guess which planet is the hottest? Venus. The second planet from the Sun is the hottest planet. It is often called the Earth's twin because its size, mass and density are similar to that of the Earth. It is the brightest planet and has more than 1600 volcanoes on its surface. Now let me tell you about our very own planet Earth, which is a very unique planet. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It is surrounded by a layer of atmosphere containing 21% oxygen. This atmosphere also protects the Earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the Sun. Earth is the only planet on which water is found. More than 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Because of these unique features, Earth supports life. It is accompanied by a satellite, Moon, that also plays a significant role in supporting life on Earth. Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system and it is half the size of Earth. It is also called the red planet because of its red surface. It has the same period of rotation as the Earth and has two moons. Do you know that in 2014, India successfully reached Mars becoming the fourth country in the world to do so. The next planet is Jupiter. It is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter with its 67 moons is referred to as the mini solar system. Its average surface temperature is around minus 100 degrees centigrade. Jupiter has light and dark bands around it. The sixth planet is Saturn and it is unique because of bright rings around its equator which are made of icy particles. It is colder than Jupiter and has 62 moons. The second last planet in the solar system is Uranus. It also has rings around its equator and has 27 moons. These moons of Uranus are named after characters created by playwright William Shakespeare and poet Alexander Pope. The last planet in the solar system is Neptune. It is similar to Uranus in size and structure, which is why Neptune and Uranus are called the twin giants. It has 13 moons. A gas called methane found in Neptune's atmosphere absorbs a red light from the sun and reflects blue which makes the planet appear a lovely blue.